What's up guys, Poppy Eagles back in Nest, and welcome back to another Stormbound video. So in today's Stormbound video, we are going to be doing a custom deck for Chris. And now Chris, he has requested that we make an Ironclad Union deck, which has Mech Workshop. So here we go, Mech Workshop, Siege Assembly, and uh, a Fort of Evan Rock. So that's what we are going to do. Let's go into a battle right now with these three cards. See you guys when we get there. Okay, I'm just kidding. We're not going into battle with just these three cards. So what I'm going to do with the rest of this deck is I'm just going to put in a bunch of inexpensive units. So Destructobots, Finite Loopers, Boosting Elixir, because I love Linked Golems, putting in Linked Golems. Uh, we'll also put in the new unit, Delegators. Then we'll go to some Neutral. Put in, no, not that. Uh, those fellas, the Gift of Recruits. Um... Green prototypes, uh, those things, Westman Sailors, geez, I'm out of sorts today. And we're going to put in some personal servers. So basically what this deck is, it is a construct plus fort deck. So basically what we're going to do, we're going to try to drag out the match as long as possible so we can start spamming constructs. And also, you know, I'm thinking we might replace something. Um, actually, never mind. We'll see how we do. Okay. So, let's see, Chris. Oh, I forgot to name your deck. So, let's just name it Chris, right up front. So, Chris, we're going to see how well your artisan deck does against the world. By the way, the season did reset, so we are rank 30 again. Also, they added some new rewards you can get past 20. So, look, if you make it to rank 20, you get three fusion stones, which is pretty sick. And then it increases progressively. So basically, if you make it to rank 15 in a season, you'll get 10 fusion stones, which is pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, that's what they added. They added some different rewards. So let's get right into it, Chris. Hopefully you'll get me past rank 30 today. Okay, on a little bit of a side note, I will be starting to upload some more console game-based gameplay up onto my channel. So let me know in the comments if you'd watch something like Warframe or Fortnite Battle Royale. So just sound off in the comments if you'd watch that sort of stuff. Because if you won't, then I'll try to find some more games, you know, you could suggest some. But I'm just trying to find out what other games I can play. Because I'm trying to expand my YouTube series right now. Right now I've got Stormbound going, which is pretty awesome. I do love the game, but I do want to expand my repertoire. So basically, uh, we can attract a larger audience. So, if you guys would just sound off in the comments what sort of Xbox games you'd like me to play, uh, be sure to let me know. So, what just happened there? We played our Westwind Sailors and took out his... I think he spawned Destructobots. And now he has personal servers right here. So, what we're going to do... I think we're going to spawn Finite Loopers. They'll go and smack him in the face. Oop, Snapchat. Then we're going to have two more left over. Oh my gosh, please don't roast me in the comments. I know that I could have spawned Gifted Recruits there. Please do not crucify me in the comments. Okay, I don't need that. Um, what we're going to do now, we're going to spawn Destructobots up here. Now you might be wondering why, so I'll explain. Basically what we're going to do, we're going to spawn Linked Golems, buff them up. They'll take out those Heroic Soldiers, and we also have a squad of four Linked Golems up at the front, so that's pretty awesome. Okay, he's spawned Brothers in Arms on the right side. His Brothers in Arms are only level 2, so they won't spawn an extra Knight there. He also has a Fort of Emrock. Now... This guy has actually made a very noobish mistake. Obviously, we are at rank 30, so it's to be expected. But you should honestly never place the Ford of Ebonrock on your own front line. That's just kind of stupid. So now watch what we can do, okay? We can spawn our own Ford of Ebonrock, and you might think, well, that's kind of dumb. But actually what it does is it keeps our front line up there, so basically we are safe. We can't be attacked. And now watch, if I spawn the personal servers, they'll move up. And guess what? He can't even attack us at all. So, now we have him in a lock, and basically, the only thing he can do is maybe execute. Okay, Fell Flares, that's it. Oh. Okay, people at rank 30 really hurt my, like, they just hurt my brain. So basically, if he spawned his Fell Flares even a little bit farther out, he would have been able to injure my units from behind, due to the nature of the Fell Flare, shooting its damage anywhere surrounding. So that's another tip. If you have somebody kind of like that, rolling up on you you can just spawn some fell flares okay so it's our turn i'm gonna use boosting elixir 
give both those guys some buffs. Oh yeah, also I wish they would fix that little visual glitch there where the elixir kind of stays on afterwards. But that's not important right now. We're just going to spawn uh, gr green prototypes and kind of push our advantage a little bit more. Because he just uses execution. Alright, he spawned overchargers. They will take out my troops in the front. And he spawned a mecha workshop. Well, game over for him. Ah, people at rank 30. Well, since that match took like four minutes or something, I think we can do another one, Chris. So far, you're on a winning streak. We'll see how it stacks up against this. Oh yeah, another thing I'd like to mention. They added a daily cap for coins, like how much you can earn. The cap is 200, but you can... Um, the cap doesn't apply to quests. Like, you can get more than 200 coins worth of quests in a day, just not 200 coins worth of battles in a day. So, if that makes any sense. Alright, we're going into our next match. Yeah, these guys only have 10 health uh, a piece, so that's kind of an indication that you're fighting lower level enemies. Now, this might be a bit mean, because I know some strategies they probably don't, but, you know, we have to climb the ranks somehow. Also, if you hear a bunch of random sounds in the background, because my cats are in the basement right now, and they just love to mess around. So basically, if you hear any like stray meowing or a bunch of thumps, that's because one of my cats has just fallen over or something like that. So, <laughs> hopefully that explains any of the strange noises that you've been hearing behind me. We're going to spawn this guy, the mech workshop. And we're going to put some green prototypes out on the field right next to these battle constructs. So, the mech workshop... Because his front line has been pushed all the way back, Mech Workshop will be able to spawn things pretty much uh, threat-free right now. So he spawned a Fort of Evanrock on his front line, which, as I told you guys last game, don't do that. So, <laughs> I really feel sorry for these people. Time to get some smarts, but that's why you're here. To learn something from a Stormbound player. So, we're just going to spawn our Delegators. They'll run up there. They'll give him something to really worry about. So he's done a blade storm, which is a big mistake. Now, the reason that was such a mistake, because it used all of his mana up for virtually only, well, not virtually, only one damage reduction on his base. Like that was really foolish. You wasted five mana for one for one damage reduction. Like that is not worth it. That's another little thing that you can learn. Always worry about mana efficiency. That's imperative to your success. So, we don't have any reason to destroy that Fort of Evanrock. We're just going to spawn those Western Sailors elsewhere. Make him stress out a bit more. Alright. So, he spawned Fell Flares. And ended his turn because he didn't realize that Fell Flares don't move forward. And we've won another match. So okay, so those two games with Chris's deck went extremely well. So now we're going to open up a Splendid Book. And that will probably wrap up the video. So I'm going to upgrade it, cut this part out as per usual. See you guys when we get there. Alright, so our first card out of that pack is the Fort of Heaven Rock. Some more Finite Loopers, Witches of the Wild, and Veterans of War. Okay, not bad. Not great, but not bad. Alright, so thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like. Remember, leave a comment about some Xbox games you'd like me to play. And it would be super if you would subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching.